just on bug bounty still, do you think it's like for all the new players out there who are looking to get into bug bounties, uh, do you think it's worthwhile still getting into bug bounties or um, do you think it's it's better off approached as a learning experience rather than something you're going to make money from? Wow, this is a loaded question. So, a little bit, of yeah. Of course. <laughs> uh, I would always encourage and I would say, yes, it's still worth it. It's still going to be worth a year from now. Even with the current situation, with the current global situation, it's still worth it. Uh, but in order for someone who might not be as motivated, like, for example, as I am, to actually keep on doing it for months at end without, without actually seeing any money from it, uh, you wouldn't have to prioritize money when it comes to your the bug bounty programs that you're working on let's say you have yahoo.com okay i'm a, i'm gonna do bug bounties on yahoo.com but my outcome is not a thousand dollars in a month it is actually learning how to do recon in a month to be decent with recon and maybe apply that same recon process a different pro program so if money is not the end goal it would be much easier for someone to actually keep on doing back bounties. It's it's right. very challenging. Maybe the thing that keeps me on it is the fact that I get to learn new stuff. There's so many things that you can do when it comes to bug bounty hunting. You can solely focus on, for example, one type of bug, and that would be advisable to do. Like, let's say, for example, uh, you don't want to be a jack of all trades. You want to do specifically, let's say, XSS. You're focusing on XSS. You want to master XSS. You've got tons of resources on XSS alone. And you've got the free interactive resources on Web Security Academy. So you focus on a specific type of bug or a specific type of a process in the methodology, like for example, recon. Uh, or source code review, or you're doing mobile application uh, bug bounties, uh, focus on one thing and then try to uh, apply or try to look uh, for that thing in every bounty program that you are after. Yeah, that's it. So I guess you sort of need to go into bug bounties for the right reason. You don't want to go into it expecting that you're going to make you know, $70,000 on your first bug because it's it's almost guaranteed not to happen. It's not impossible, but it's probably not going to happen. Um, so I most, guess yeah, go you know into what? it for learning first. Uh, most, uh, we, we only get to see, I mean, the majority of people only post and brag about uh, <laughs> the bounties that they receive. So if you look on Twitter, uh, if you look for bug bounty, the, the hashtag bug bounty or bug bounty tips, you're only gonna see successful um, accomplishments. You're only gonna see people being paid this much money for this bug, this yeah. much money for that bug. But you're never gonna see someone who said, hey, look, uh, in March alone, I've uh, submitted 30 bugs out of which 29 have been rejected. Yeah. Nobody is gonna post about that, or at least very few people are gonna post about that. And this kind of crazy illusion that bug bounty might be easy money or might be something that uh, is like attainable that's it that's uh, that's sort of what i'm saying much to to people who have asked me about bug bounties is should i get into it and i say if you're trying to get into bug bounties to make a quick dollar it's not going to be a quick dollar it's it's going to be a learning experience and that's the reason you should get into it so i was curious of basically what you would say on that topic as well but it, it sounds like you're saying literally exactly the same thing as me so that's good good to hear <laughs> well if if you are a real hacker whose nature is curious by default it's not going to be difficult to stay motivated in bug bounties if you're in it for the money chances are that it's very likely you're not going to be motivated for a long time so, as a beginner, for example, as a beginner, because there, sure. there are there are good bug bounty hunters like who make hundreds of thousands, who are simply doing it for money, but they have the experience and the knowledge. So yeah, they didn't start off making hundreds of thousands of dollars. So they they started off making, you know, your your twenty nine rejects out of thirty submits. So thirty, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
So no, that's that's yeah, it's good to hear that I'm on the point there. So.